Hello and welcome back. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man um, run of War of the Chosen 2. We are re-entering the campaign right here in the middle of a huge fight. First half of uh, this mission was just brutal. We saw massive, massive amounts of uh, enemies uh, showing up. Currently we're fighting against two full packs um, of enemies. One is over here with uh, a mutant and five additional advents. Another one is over here. There's a remaining viper, uh, two remaining vipers, um, matter of fact, and one more uh, advent, on top of which we're f facing at least at least 15 lost and very soon new losses are going to show up so time first and foremost to skim the battlefield a little bit what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can kill as many as possible first things first we need to reload with our sniper so he's probably not going to kill anyone with his sniper this round however we can deal with uh, quite a few loss, to be honest. He does have a sidearm. The sidearm does not use ammunition. So we're using uh, the momentum to get rid of the loss. And I also want to make sure that we keep, uh, if he continues hitting, that we will not end his turn. Because it might be that we're uh, triggering even new loss. Yeah, of course. Just as I say, he, he's not supposed to miss. That is exactly what happens. So let's take a close look here. Our rookie has a very moderate chance to hit. We're standing in the middle of smoke. And that's the whole reason why the rookie really doesn't hit super well. Elsewise, it would be a 100% shot. We still gotta take the shots. Okay, perfect. So that worked out rather well. Now, one level further down. We got a few more losses here as well. Yet again. Got to clean uh, this up, elsewise the loss will continue to swarm. Back on line. I'm all out. So, Olijimi here was uh, poisoned last round, but he finished, uh, or he's... Um, has shaken off poison this round, which means we got to be careful whether or not we want to move him. One of the reasons why we might want to move him is because he's in half cover. Uh, one of the reasons why we might not want to move him is because that would reapply the poison. And yeah, we might not want to let that happen. Now, let's first of all make a plan before, usually before you um, do such a large turn. Let's go through the thought process here real quick. So we know that this uh, side here, uh, slowly but surely, is getting cleaned up. Uh, the loss here uh, will fight against um, uh, those two. Uh, these two losses just killed the stun launcher and uh, might go and uh, take their shots here as well. As long as there is a loss in reach, a tongue grab of the Viper and binding is very likely. So essentially the only enemy that we need to care about for now seems to be this Viper here, um, which can be flanked moving to here. However, by moving to there, we open ourselves up for flanks on this side. So it's actually a pretty difficult position. A better position would probably be somewhere up here, essentially uh, flanking down. So that's the one side. The way more difficult side is uh, this here. We we'll probably need another flashbang grenade just to survive it. The rocketeer here either needs to die um, or he might shoot a rocket into this area, killing 
or heavy danger in multiple enemies. So he's going to be a top priority together with a mutant uh, who luckily is already heavily injured. So those two might cause trouble. Uh, the remaining three still can cause trouble, but not at the same order of magnitude. Good. So what's what do we? Whom do we have available? We we would have um, our uh, skirmisher up here. Clearly, with a grapple over here, we would be in a really decent position. Um, moving over here certainly could help, but we need to reload, so that's the biggest problem. Which essentially means after reloading, we got like what? One action left over, and that's it. A uh, good part about his position is he's blocking this rail here. This rail means none of the chosen, uh, of the lost ones can climb up the roof, and they would need to take this entrance here. Um, or this entrance here. Okay, so that's we have furthermore a flashbang available um, back here as well as a revival protocol. We do not have um, a medikit funnily enough so moving here and throwing the flashbang for instance wouldn't be a, an option. Moving here however would be an option or moving downstairs that could be an option as well. Turbo here has just fallen down. That's where the, all of the damage was coming from. And yeah, realistically speaking, we probably need to heal ourselves. We could go um, for a dangerous play, kind of moving here, and then uh, trying to kill someone problem is two hit points are really really low and I much rather like to heal ourselves okay so that's the situation uh, Wolfman as uh, can kill someone the Rocketeer however is the highest priority who else is available we got um, our second Ranger Olu Chumi available same topic could go run and gun. Might position ourselves here. Would not be a flanking position. Might position ourselves here. That would be a flanking position and killing him. Um, problem there is we would make ourselves pretty vulnerable to uh, movements to here and then essentially shooting into the open. So yeah, the Grenadier remains to be a problem. Good. Let's start with uh, the turns that are somewhat without a problem. Our rookie has a solid 50-50 chance to inflict damage. Might as well take that. Like I said, the Rocketeer is a high priority target. That clearly didn't work out. Standing in half cover, not the best idea. Standing here could could be potentially better. Could use a grenade, yeah, but that wouldn't kill anyone. Could use it down here. That would trigger another swarm. That would trigger another swarm, and it would be set the viper up for a kill. Probably need his flashbang grenade. I maybe move in here, and throwing a flashbang in. So he would see the Viper. If the Viper would be, if we if we could get rid of um, all of uh, the cover around the Viper, that probably would be deadly, and we could kill the Viper. So let's use a grenade and trigger another um, another swarm. So 
So by doing so, we're removing cover, hopefully. Getting rid of that full cover that she's currently standing behind. All right, come on. It's really a shame how the whole loss um, are pulling down the the performance so much. There we go, Lost Swarm appears. Yep, and these are plenty, that's good. Okay, now it's time for the Viper. Which would be a solid 80% shot. Let's hope we can execute it. Good. Viper down. Like I mentioned, I think we got to heal ourselves first. Make up to six hit points. Okay, we're a little bit limited with our actions. I probably will continue to stay here just to block off just to block off a lot of uh, these options here. Could move over to here. But that would open me up to be flanked by just moving here and taking shots. So that's actually a decent position. Can we move upstairs? We could, but that would require run and gun. Would be a cool move though, to fully move upstairs. Yeah, let's optimize our action economy. We're reloading first to get full ammunition. And let's kill the mutant. Good. That forces us not only into taking full cover, but also into getting rid of um, even if it even if this hits only the grenadier, it is still worth it. Okay, we can't sit, well, we could take the high ground here. Could move up to here. Hmm. Hmm. Could move to here into full cover. You know, we probably need uh, someone to flank next turn. And it seems we're still far enough away from the loss. So that would be an option. We could move up to here. Standing in half cover. Could move up to here. Or could simply move all the way out of line of sight. Which is probably what we're going to do. Now let's take full cover here. 
because that means we can still take shots next turn and maybe use 8 protocol plus take shots. Shot into half cover. It's probably going to be a shot. Oh no, that's actually going to be one against the lost and only a graced wound. The overwatch doesn't mean anything because the loss will trigger it anyways. The losts are helping us in, uh, in the current situation way more than they are um, than they are problematic. Biggest advantage is we can the losts are triggering overwatch shots and are offering valid targets. So we're taking effectively less damage or we're taking less shots from Advent. There's another bind. That's another kill. I usually waste an activity with uh, binding, which is good. Yet another pack. We might not want to run into those. Good, let's see what the losts are doing. I hope that they will hit some of the advents at least. There's a triggering of the overwatch shot that I was talking about. And now it's a question of who targets which enemy. It seems that the Viper will take a few hits. <laughs> it also seems that they are fucking around with... Uh, nice. Perfect, that one trooper is down. Viper takes quite some damage, that's good as well. So I would say the right the right hand side is pretty much cleaned up. We don't need to immediately worry about it. Could move up to here, take the shot and kill him. Is the poison still active? Ah, that's annoying because a really proper run and gun to here could solve the issue, but also would cost us a charge of our um, of our med kit, and I don't think that that's the best idea yet. Let's clean up some of the loss. Now we're going to leave those. Uh, problem is, Sniper doesn't see a good target. Okay, what's going to happen with the Rookie? 
Rookie would need to reload. We could move to here. Mm. This here would be an interesting position, but it requires that we're cleaning up this side first. Yeah, it all comes down to the poison, to be honest. If that wouldn't be there, we... We really wouldn't have the problems. Could move to here, take two shots and kill this guy. Would be, uh, although would be open to a flank here. Could move to here, wouldn't flank though. This here is a decent position, the problem is it's exposed. Hmm. Again, moving up to here would essentially solve the problem, but it also would be going in very deep. I don't know if that's a clever idea. We move to here, flank the guy and take a shot. We open ourselves up to be hit from behind here. Uh, the advent specialist here, the scout here, has overall six hit points, so too much for a grenade. Hmm, let me think that through. All right, I came up with an idea. So the way that I came up with the idea is we got to take some risk and uh, or we got to be willing to take some injuries in order to make that happen. I decided I don't want to lose at least three healths um, by poisoning ourselves, which means we're reloading, ignoring the scout for now and instead are focusing entirely on these guys here. Since this can't be, or only with 5% chance, a kill, we're going to focus on the normal trooper over here, 50-50, even if we don't hit it is fine, but luckily we do, so that's one down. Bingo. Now, let's come to the actual point of uh, interest, which is we're moving over to here. Yes, we can be flanked from here. Might as well even move up to here, because we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him anyways. But before we before we move there, let me show you why I mean that we're going to kill him. So I want to move all the way over to here. I am not afraid about the loss. The loss essentially will trigger um, Bladestorm and Bladestorm automatically kills them, which means as, as long as we hit with our melee attack, our skirmisher here is immune against um, the loss. This shot here 
would need to hit. I'm pretty confident that the 80 plus percent chance is going to hit. I do have a backup plan if it doesn't. But this here will trigger. Very good. This here will trigger hit and run. So we either go with another 80% shot or we move up to here and actually take the more than 80% chance to step him with retaliation. Problem with moving to here is there's another window and that might be uncomfortable to pull another pack. We don't see anything in this specific camera angle, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So we're taking another shot. All right. Officially didn't work out, but like I said, that's not the end of the world. So moving up, here comes our backup plan. There we go. Done. Okay. Moving to here. This guy now needs to die. Hundred percent crit chance, so that's at least eight points of damage. Good. We're now using a protocol to help him, although he's exposed. Good. Unfortunately, we're down to three hit points here, so there isn't really that much we can do. Other than being in full cover and slowly moving kind of to the front line. All right, reloading and blocking the entrance over here. Moving to designated position. The sniper moves up. Good, let's uh, thin out the loss just a tiny bit more. There you go. Because there is a chance that now, since we needed to go down um, here to the ground with more than the skirmisher, I don't want them to accidentally start um, hitting our specialist. Plus, it improves uh, the latency quite a bit. Frame, frame rate is back up. We got five losses over here. That's good. And we're overwatching. Yep, luckily for us, that was only a normal hit and not a crit. It was still worth it, though, because if you think about how much damage it could have uh, inflicted, if we would have left the Grenadier unchecked, that just, it could have been easily five or ten times the amount.
This might trigger a retaliation. Yep. Retribution, rather. Good. Beat the Viper into submission. Nice. Did the Viper just die? Yep, Viper just died. All right, the loss won. Overwhelming numbers. Okay, Lightning Reflexes will make short work of the Overwatch. Luckily, we did not trigger any other packs. And there we go. Okay, before we do that, I think these shooting, uh, the shooting position over here is overall better suited for the sniper. So, moving the sniper over. Yeah, that's not a 100% shot. I really want uh, the sniper to sit here next turn. Moving upstairs. Reload Overwatch. Moving over here into full cover. Yeah, we're still overwatching, that's fine. And we could use the rookie. Perfect. Overwatch. Let's hope that we will find and trigger another pack. Oh wow, another lost swarm. We can certainly start uh, thinning them out and afterwards we're going for another pack. So let's, let's see what we killed. Mutant plus six, that's seven enemies. And we had like what, three Vipers, uh, three Advent, that is, oh, there's another pack over here, by the way. Three Vipers, three Advent, that's another six. So we're at 13. Uh, got ourselves a chosen who does not count. Check it you get too close. 
Yeah. So we're probably at 14 now, which means there are probably there are around about 20, 25 more enemies still left over. Good, reloading. Wolfman begins to move. Let's use the pistol for normal loss. It's a good round for uh, reload. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Back where the rest of the swarm is located. I'm on it. We're pretty much. Uh, I'm pretty much sure that that's where uh, the remaining aliens are. We see a couple of civilians, so wouldn't be surprised if uh, these are faceless ones. Now the question of the day is, are they going to patrol into us? Good. So far, nothing seems to happen. It would be nice if we could get a line of sight and maybe attack with a squad side shot, but we don't have anyone who is hidden. So that's at least two packs. Three Vipers, Mutant, Mech, plus a Sentry. All right, dozens of them, once again. Happy now. Time to get rid. So when you're fighting the chosen without uh, without enemies, it's a little bit problematic because they they are just keeping you locked in one place. And as cool as the extra XP is, it also means we can't really leave that place because you're. You're almost always threatened to walk into a full pack of them.
Hmm. Still a few losses are over there. I feel the position here is strong. Just got to move him a little bit. Reload Overwatch. Okay, one more round of Overwatch. And hopefully this time we're also finding some enemies that are running into us, not just the loss. By the way, of course, no alien has moved. Only the losses are moving. Okay. One more loss and then we're done. Question is, how are we triggering the pack over here? This here would be nice high ground. Might as well want to transition towards that rooftop. I begin to appreciate the idea. Because this house here has phenomenal um, agency for the middle area. Over there. Sniper moves over. Position ourselves over here. Uh, I'm going. Okay, so time to motor. Also, time to heal up just a little bit. I mean, we're like, what? Five out of nine. Good enough for a single heal. Okay, so moving up. I'm on the move. We got our cooldowns ready, so move, move, move. I think we should be fine.
Okay. Could we grapple over to this rooftop? No, we couldn't. Could grapple up here though. Let's position ourselves over here. Good. So, let's hope we're not getting caught in transition. I would appreciate. If we simply can get up on top of the roof, the enemies are still standing here, as, I've, as we've just seen. So, uh, the loss might come in for yet another time, but that's okay. Let's move up. Good. Haven't triggered anything. Next turn, easy peasy, could move up here and trigger something. Okay, so I'm all over it. this pack here is definitely going to be tough. Double Viper plus plus um, a mech plus a mutant. We might want to split them, as it seems pretty ambitious to take uh, take them all on at the same time. We have no more grenades left over on our rookie. The main problem with the mech that I can see is we got to eliminate it in the first round. And our sniper would need to move. Sniper doesn't have a sniper shot then. So the person with the armor penetrating rounds essentially cannot act. Maybe we're putting the sniper back into the old position. He still would have good shooting angles in the old position. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Now, with another swarm appearing, we might be in a decent position, though. Because if the swarm is in the open, we are not. The swarm is going to take a lot of the shots.
Yeah, we probably still need to go back with the sniper. The mutant pack is definitely waiting right down there. Are the vipers anywhere is the question. Okay, can't see any other enemy. Might as well position everyone upstairs here. Next turn we can start uh, to engage. I think that's a, that's a good strategy. Okay, Overwatch, Overwatch. Ah, uh, next turn we still need to move the sniper into the high ground. I want to get death from above and the 10% um, pen, um, aim bonus. Enemy is still standing there, pure fire plus stun lancer plus mutant. If we could get that pack alone without the double vipers and the mech that would be super helpful Killing the rest of the loss. Let's go. Can't be that freaking difficult. Okay, last round to kill the loss, get the sniper in position and then we can give it a go. Sniper takes high ground. I mean, one of the positive aspects is we already got a few promotions, including our sniper. So we continue to assemble them. And if we really pull off this uh, map, boy, boy, are we going to have enough corpses. Ready to 
Uh, squad reflexes is nice, but we definitely don't want the map alert. Good. I think it's only one more uh, lost that is running around. And like I said, next turn we're going to engage. Pretty sure by now that we're fighting only against a single pack of enemies. All right, two losses were left over, but that's fine. Are you uh, are you serious? We had six Overwatches up, and not a single one of them was able to hit. Wow. That was pretty bad. Okay, done. Now, moving here, we'll trigger the pack, and we even got a grenade left over. Cool. Might even have pulled a second pack. Oh no, one of them was just like very much behind here. Okay, um, yeah. Everyone once again has chosen the absolute maximum full cover. Let's see if we can expose the mutant. This here is taking away his his cover. We might be successful. It is not taking away his cover. Okay. Taking a shot. I think we're going to reload. Before we grapple anywhere, How do we want to deal with a mutant? That's a good question. No more flashbang grenades. I mean, the obvious solution is Moving in, over here, 
and just taking a big fat dump on him. Problem is the Sun Lancer. Problem is the Sun Lancer. But we do have Revival Protocol, so it wouldn't be that bad. If we leave the Mutant unchecked, we are running into issues. Some of which are not limited to essentially picking multi um, pulling multiple packs here there was another pack but if we're not le uh, if we're not killing it we might end up in an even worse position so the question of the day is do i want to go here and think that the the, the other packs are over here or do i feel like this here is the right way to go and essentially flank him. I think this here is probably the better the better angle. But it doesn't mean by any stretch of the imagination that there aren't any packs here. However, since we haven't seen any movement indication, it's very unlikely that there are packs in down this direction. Mutant definitely needs to die. Even if that means we're going to be knocked unconscious can still be revived. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, we might want to get... We might want to get... Um, might want to get an 8 protocol. Okay, so we're looking at 8 damage minimum. This here could be a kill. 50-50 chance to directly kill it. Really nice loot. So we're definitely going to give him a protocol. Okay, what are we going to do with the other assault? I mean, this here is still half cover and somewhat near, so we could run and gun next turn. The optimal case would be another swarm of loss because that would detract from our position. But I don't know if we can spawn another uh, another swarm. No, we we don't have uh, probably don't have the means to do so. Quick grappling up here. Let's try to get the stun lancer. We do have our justice um, ability back up. All right. Pretty low chance to hit him comparably, but he's also, yeah, he's in full cover.
8 protocol unfortunately doesn't stack with itself. So let us see what exactly the enemy decides to do. He picks another target, which is interesting. We are considered to be in full cover, just from the chance of uh, being hidden, uh, being hit, because we do have fortification plus aid protocol, but they, that will go away next turn. Two, four, six enemies. Two, four, six, yeah. Nice little rocket uh, would be optimal. Okay, so far so good. Way less way less um, impactful turn than I would have expected from their side. Triggered a pack of six additional enemies and thanks to our defensive abilities uh, we worked through it quite well. So let's see where we are. We killed uh, seven in the first pack with the mutant, six in the second pack here. Uh, third pack with the mutant was another four, so that's 17 plus another 6, that's 23, plus for whatever the gloss are counting, probably, probably also for a few. We know there is at least one more pack um, out there with the mech, maybe a faceless one or two. Wow, I can't believe it's another hour gone. It almost seems, since there's at least one more pack after this one here, that, boy oh boy, I'm so sorry, but it almost seems like uh, this is another good uh, breaking point for us. This mission is insane. Um, I don't want to do two and a half hour YouTube videos I'm trying to speed the content up as much as possible, guys. I, I can do a better turn, a better, better approach, maybe to cut out more of the enemy turn. But then again, you guys might also want to see how the enemy reacts. Um, I need to think about uh, once these missions become more common to fight those long, uh, really long missions, how to go on with it, but because two and a half hours of content. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I will definitely shrink the thought process time even more, but I will still try to uh, to to go through every uh, single thought process because I, I guess that's creating value to understand why I'm making decisions the way I'm making them. So with that being said, I feel we are in a pretty strong position here overall. Next turn I will clean up a lot of them and yeah we're going to see how it continues from here. Am I going to pull another pack? Am I pulling maybe even two packs? Who knows? Uh, the map is still ongoing and it's a massive slaughter here. Thank you so much for watching. I truly truly enjoy playing it and see you all in the next mission. Bye bye.